Hi, welcome to Tommy's Piano Corner. I'm Tommy. This is a place for returning pianists, or indeed anybody who loves a piano, to share tips and ideas about how to get the most from this great hobby. In last week's video, I showed you how to actually get quite pro-looking results when you're recording yourself using just the phone that's in your pocket. In today's video, I'd like to show you how you can take this further and how you can overcome probably the biggest drawback to using your phone, which is the quality of the audio that you're able to get with the built-in microphone. Are you sitting comfortably? Then let's begin. As I said, probably the biggest downside to using your phone to capture your videos is that the audio quality tends not to be really fantastic. You have to remember that the built-in microphone and the software are really optimized to be able to capture your voice for making phone calls. They're not really intended to cope with what you'll get on a piano, where you have everything from very high-pitched, delicate notes to thundering bass notes on occasions. That means that we need some way of being able to capture this wide dynamic range. I first started researching this on Google and I was amazed to find that, believe it or not, there's a great range of microphones that are designed directly to be plugged straight into your smartphone. There are microphones really that suit pretty much any budget and I spent a lot of time researching on Google before finally I decided to buy the Shure MV88 condenser microphone. This microphone isn't actually the cheapest available. It costs around £125 on Amazon to buy. But from the research I did, it basically got pretty much the best feedback, all in all, for a microphone in its class. If you're going to do a lot of recording, then I'm sure you'll very, very quickly get your money's worth out of this investment. If you do want to take a detailed look, in the description below, I've put a link to it for you on Amazon, where you can get the full product spec. And I've also included a different link to a really cool article that shows you how many different options you've got for being able to plug external microphones into your smartphone. A major consequence of the dynamic range of the piano when you're trying to record is that it very, very quickly distorts. What I mean by this is it's that effect that you get if you're trying to play back a piece of music through speakers that are quite small and you turn the volume up too high, the sound that comes out is all crackly and odd. This happens when you record with the phone's built-in microphone quite simply because it's not expecting to need to cope with this. It's only expecting to try and cope with your voice while you're making a phone call. What you probably didn't realize is that now you've bought this microphone, you have the ability to turn your smartphone into quite a sophisticated audio recorder. As you might have guessed, that's because there's an app for that too. If you're using the Shure MV88, you can download the Motive app from the App Store. It's not the only app you can use, but it's the app that's made by the people who make the microphone. If you've opted to buy a different make of microphone, I'm sure you'll find there's apps you can use that will help you record those microphones as well. Now that we've downloaded this app, we can actually start to control how we're going to capture the sound. And possibly the first and most important thing we need to control is how sensitive the microphone is going to be, so how it's going to react to loud and quiet sounds when it records. The pros call this the input gain, and it's nothing more than the sensitivity or the volume that the microphone is going to record at. Once you've plugged the microphone into your phone and opened the app, if you make noise, you'll see the meters here, 
And these allow you to see how much noise is being picked up by the microphone. When it goes red, this is bad news because that means that the sound will distort. So we quite simply change the sensitivity by swiping on the input gain here to reduce it or to increase it however we need. What we've effectively just done is what they're doing when you hear that familiar testing, testing, one, two, three, before any local concert where the musicians are setting up their equipment. What they're doing here really is setting their levels to make sure that the microphones they're using won't send out a distorted signal. The next trick we need to apply is to actually tell the microphone where it needs to pick up sound from. As I said, the Shure MV88 is a stereo microphone. So what that means is it's going to pick up sound through the left and through the right so that when it's played through headphones later, you get that very familiar stereo sound that we're all used to from our TVs and other music devices these days. Luckily, the Motive app makes this very simple for us. As you can see, it gives you a wide range of different options that you can use to set how the microphone is going to pick up sound. The one we're going to use is the acoustic one which is the one that has this little guitar icon next to it. As you can see, once you've selected the acoustic setting, you can then set the width, if you like, from which the microphone will, will record sound. So you can make it wider or narrower just by swiping on the screen. The benefit of doing this is that when we then put our microphone where we're gonna have it to film the piano, we can tell the microphone only to pick up the sound that's coming from the piano and try to ignore the sounds that are coming from other parts of the room behind and to the sides. This gives you a much, much better quality stereo recording. Now, all that's left to do is to plug the microphone in, make sure we've positioned the phone where it's going to get a good view of the piano and where it'll get a good reception of the sound, we enter the standard camera app on the phone and we press record. All of the settings we made in Motive will stay remembered by the microphone and that's what the camera app will use. There are a couple of top tips here to remember though. The first thing is set your phone onto airplane mode. This is because the little bleeps and noises that your phone makes all the time in the background will come through on the recording. And that can be so very annoying when you've spent time setting something up and you play it back to yourself and it's full of all of this noise. Second thing, of course, is make sure you've got enough memory left on your phone. Video files tend to be quite big. So make sure you've saved some of your old stuff aside so that you've got plenty of memory left. I already have a tripod at home, so I always put my phone onto a tripod. But you don't need a tripod. I did a recording once using my iPad rather than my phone, and I basically just propped the iPad up on the sofa using a box of tissues so that it pointed in the right direction. imaginative ways that you can prop your phone up without needing to buy a tripod as well. In the video I've embedded here I'm going to show you a short piece of music captured just with the microphone that's on your phone. And then the same piece of music captured with this microphone plugged in, with no processing, no anything else, just the effect of the microphone alone.
as I'm sure you can hear, already we have a dramatic improvement in the quality of the audio that we can capture. Once you've finished your recording, you quite simply do what we talked about last week. And I've included the card here so that you can refer to that video easily. All we're going to do is use another app on our phone that enables us to top and tail the video and just make it look that little bit better. done that it's then good to upload to whatever social media platform you like to use. I hope you found this video interesting and it's given you yet more ideas of how you can capture your work and share it with your family and friends. In my next video I'm going to share with you a trick where for absolutely zero additional financial investment you can take this audio recording to a whole new level just like the pros do. All you'll need for this is the willingness to put in a little bit of extra time and effort when you do your recording of your playing. If you'd like to see the next video, don't forget to subscribe, click the notification bell so that you're notified of new videos as they're released. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next week.